Hey guys, and welcome to the Farming Pastor's Wife. Today, we're making an easy, quick supper. I am so glad you've joined me. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, and share my videos. That's the best way you can help me is to share those videos and get them out there. My name is Leslie, by the way. I am a farmer, a pastor's wife, a mom, and a Bubbles, and Bubbles stands for Grandma. So, anyway, we're going to get started on an easy chicken pesto. I think I said that wrong. I meant pesto chicken. This is all over the internet. It's all over YouTube. But just in case you haven't seen it, I thought I would show it to you. So let me get our chicken and we'll get started. Okay guys, if you're familiar with me at all, you know I cook large amounts. So I will put in the description below the normal recipe. I'm gonna add extra to mine um, just because that's what I do. So. Let me show you, this was leftover chicken from our big chicken stew. We ordered 80 pounds of chicken breast pieces. So this was some leftover that I bagged up and froze. And so I don't even know how much is here, but that's where we're going with it. So now I'm gonna turn on my water, get it to boiling, cause I need to make some chicken broth. I don't have any homemade chicken broth right now, and I don't have any canned or boxed chicken broth. So I'm gonna use a bouillon cube and make my own. Okay guys, <laughs> didn't know it was recording. Um, so I'm gonna put a bouillon cube down in the bottom of my batter bowl here. And once my water starts to boil, I'm gonna pour in about a cup and a half to two cups. Um, the recipe does not call to season your chicken, but I am. I'm gonna pepper it pretty heavily. And we're gonna add some salt. You don't have to add too much salt because uh, we're gonna the pesto has salt because it has the Parmesan cheese in it and the ranch dressing mix has um, some salt so we're gonna set that aside we're gonna bring our bouillon cube back over here uh, I'm gonna add in about five tablespoons of ranch dressing remember I'm doing a large amount so I will put the exact recipe that would be good for you guys. Okay, and I just, probably I'm gonna use one out of my new container here. There we go. All right. And as soon as my water comes to boil, we will um, mix this up good and we'll add in our pesto. Okay guys, I'm just gonna go in uh, maybe to a cup and a half of water. We'll go to three. I mean, not three. We'll go to almost two. All right, and I'm just going to take this, mix it up really good, and we're going to open our pesto. Now, y'all, I get my pesto from Sam's. I think it is amazing. Um, you can find pesto at any grocery store. Even Audi has it. They have a tomato pesto. Um, and I hear Costco's pesto is delicious. I have never tried it. 
And uh, I'm gonna have to get a knife to get into here, maybe. Nope, here it comes. There it comes. Oh, the, the aroma that just absolutely just hit the air. <laughs> okay, and I'm just gonna use a good amount of this jar. Um, at least probably half. Oh, y'all, it smells so good. It's a gnat on my hand. Y'all, I said something one time about having a gnat or a fly, and somebody's like, oh, y'all, we live in the country. <laughs> that happens. All right. Let me, I'm going to grab one more scoop of my pesto. There we go. And you don't have to mix it prior to going in. You can just layer this in there on top of the chicken. You don't have to mix it at all. I just needed to mix up that bouillon cube. And so I thought might as well just go ahead and put everything in here together. Okay guys, so we're gonna bring our chicken back over here. And I am just gonna pour this over the chicken. Right like that, we're gonna cook it on low. Well, I'm probably gonna start it on high because I'm a little late getting it in, but um, then we'll turn it down to low. You can cook it on high for four hours or low from six to eight hours. So I'll bring you back when it's time to serve. Okay guys, while we're waiting on the chicken, um, actually, let me let you look at it real quick. I've actually vented the lid a little bit just to let some of the liquid cook down. But there it is. Oh, it smells like heaven in here. So good. Okay, guys, so let me tell you what else I'm going to have with the chicken. I'm going to make a garden salad with just iceberg lettuce, cucumber, cherry tomatoes, and I'm going to make some homemade ranch dressing. Um, well, not homemade, not like from scratch, but I make it from my Hidden Valley Ranch powdered mix. Mix it with mayonnaise and buttermilk, and it's delicious. So much better than the bottled stuff. But I want to show you this place in my house. I'm partially decorated for Christmas. Um, getting there. <laughs> I will take the blue off the table, but it is, it's that, I don't know what kind of material you call it, but it's washable. <laughs> And with Judah, he makes such a mess. I kind of want to leave that on just a little bit longer, but it'll be off by Thanksgiving. But, um, so I'm decorating for Christmas and I have a lot of stuff done. My mantle's done, my coffee table, um, my, my end tables. I've got a pretty new sign up that says Merry Christmas. But I have this idea and I've wanted to do it for three years. And I'm going to show you, the idea is not up yet. In fact, I hadn't even bought my idea. <laughs> like, I hadn't paid for it, went and got it. I want to know y'all's opinion, and you tell me what I should do. So let me turn the camera around. Okay, guys, I am standing in the door of my kitchen into the dining room. I'll turn the light on. That corner right there where that little table is, I want to put a skinny pencil Christmas tree there. I want to, of course, right now decorate it for Christmas, but I want to leave it up year round and every, like I don't decorate a lot for any other holiday except for Christmas. And I would love for that to be a tree that I could decorate year round for different Holidays. I was thinking for Valentine's Day, Judah and I can cut out little hearts and make little things to go on the tree and decorate it for Valentine's Day, decorate it for Easter, for the 4th of July, for all the other holidays, and for fall, and then, of course, for Christmas. So, it would have to be a really skinny little tree. It also would be 
like I am now standing in my kitchen so that would be something while I'm filming that y'all could see um so y'all leave in the comments below what you think of that idea is that a good idea or a bad idea will it just look Christmassy all the time I mean I plan to change the decorations and lights out um so y'all tell me is it a good idea a bad idea Tell me your thoughts. I haven't bought the Christmas tree yet, but I'm like ready to go tomorrow. If uh, if if my mind tilts in the yes direction, uh, I'll probably go by and set it up tomorrow. So tell me your thoughts. I forgot to finish telling you what I was going to fix with the chicken. I told you the salad, but I'm also going to um, just take a box of, I, I told her to get the bow tie pasta. I don't know what she'll come home with. But um, maybe the bow tie pasta and just serve the chicken on top of the pasta with a side salad and some barbecue garlic bread. Yum. Okay, guys. Here it is. There it I is. plated it up. Um, I don't have you a fork. No fork. I don't have him a fork. Can you believe that? Let me get a fork. No fork. Can you believe that? Once again, you'll prepare Always. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm getting some salad dressing. It's on the table. Oh. It's on the table. Okay, that's fine. I'll pull you over. can't put bottled on that. Okay. <laughs> he okay. must have to put bottled dressing on there. What is he thinking? Okay. Now, I served this up on some bow tie pasta. Homemade ranch dressing. Well, you know, with the mix. Drizzle on there. There we go. But they're here for the chicken. Chicken. Pesto chicken. Yum. So. Alright guys, here we go. My chicken cooked down. I hope I have enough. Yep. One thing about this pesto, I don't know if she's told you, but it's from Sam's and it's got a bunch of Parmesan cheese, grated Parmesan bunch cheese. Of garlic. And garlic. We're hot. <laughs> Why'd you put that whole piece in your mouth? But it's really good. For some people, pesto is a little strong because it's got basil and some oregano and some other herbs in there. But we like it. Mm hmm So good. Really good. As Judah would say, it's really, really Really, really tasty. tasty. And so. So guys, you've got to try this. Find you a good pesto. Mix it with some chicken broth and some ranch dressing. Pour it on some chicken. Stick it in a crock pot. Go off to work. Come home and have this delicious, delicious supper. This is one of our favorites, and I don't know why I don't do it more often. You know something you could do? What? You could take and reduce a little cream and butter. Oh, yeah, put a little cream sauce Make on a little it. cream mm. sauce with the pesto. That sounds really I good. Mean, it's fine this way. It is perfect. Great this way. But if you wanted to uh, just change it up, same recipe, but just change it up a little bit. Do a little cream sauce mm -hmm. on it. That'd be good. That'd be mm. really good. Y'all didn't know I knew that. Or y'all could use the tomato, that tomato pesto at, at Aldi would be, I bet that would be delicious. Yep. Okay. So, thank you guys for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. Don't forget to go down in the comments below and tell me what you think about my decorating idea. Um, this yeah. is good. It's got to do. Oh, look, I got something on my shirt. Oh, no. Oh, that's lint. Oh. It's okay. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> we just got through moving furniture over at Caroline's and she had a cloth couch and so that was probably lent from her cloth couch and she got a beautiful set of leather couches from a good friend of ours from a good friend of ours who got new furniture so this is gonna see Caroline through until she gets into her new house and we are excited but anyway don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know what you think about my decorating idea notice I have switched glasses Y'all, my glasses story was hilarious. Sunday, I was up on the platform singing, and all of a sudden, something fell from the, or I thought it fell from the sky, and I thought, something from the ceiling just fell on me. Well, then I thought, no, it was my earring. So, I'm like, feeling my ear. I'm like, no, my earring's there. And I looked down, and everything just seemed blurry, and I thought, what in the world? And all of a sudden, the lens of my glass had popped out, and I'm like, trying to see the screen and I'm taking my glasses off. It was it was in the middle of singing too. It was quite funny. But anyway, 
Every, the kids are on their way over here. We're going in here. And um, he's already eaten that plate. That was my plate. And I was just going to give him a bite. He's done eat it. Anyway, well, thank you guys for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. And remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Please, please, please share my videos. Get them out there. And ask your family and friends to subscribe. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. We've got some exciting things coming up. We've got Christmas. We've got Thanksgiving. We've got all that stuff coming up. And we've got a potential remodel going on, fixing to go on. So we'll talk more about that later. But anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye, y'all.